always wanted to go on an island with deserted beaches, white sand, crystal blue waters. And the day I set foot on one, it was for sure the most memorable day of my whole life. So, which one is yours? I was on a boat in the Gulf of Mexico and a manta ray swimming right up to the boat it was the most incredible thing because of the size of it. I couldn't believe the size of this. It was incredible. Yeah, that's why it's most memorable. I've been with my husband um, since 1978. He was 14. So in 1984, um, he joined the army and I actually saw him. I was so proud becoming a man. <laughs> the most memorable moment for me in the past year has probably been the birth of my daughter. Um, it was very special because my wife was wasn't too well and was under a general anaesthetic, so it was just me and me and my daughter for an hour, and it was really nice spending that time together. When I come into work, I have a beautiful walk, and I look right up to the Pentland Hills, and I count my blessings every time I see that view that I have such a beautiful commute to work as opposed to an hour stuck in a car and I take a great big breath in and I just be thankful that we live in such lovely surroundings. 21 years ago my son arrived after having had six miscarriages and it was quite honestly the most wonderful day of my life. Okay, I was flying to Mexico City uh, with a friend uh, to do some work from Edinburgh for Amsterdam and she managed to leave her passport in the seat pocket of the Edinburgh to Amsterdam plane. So she had to fly the next day. It was all a bit of a shock when it happened. So um, about 12 years ago a friend gave me a lapis lazuli bracelet. And lapis lazuli is the crystal which helps to connect you with your intuition. And within a couple of weeks of her giving me the bracelet I had um, enrolled in a college to study homeopathy. Um, and changed my whole life. The day that my first child, Roshin, was born, I had an overwhelming experience when I walked out of the hospital. I held her in my arms and I had this vision of myself with my feet planted on the edge of the world and the world spinning round. I could feel the sense of my ancestors and the genes that have been passed down to me. I walked away from my house fire on Monday morning. When my wife was expecting my second child, she knew it was going to be a boy. In the waters, she said it was going to be a boy. She was thinking of boys' names and everything else. So I was there at the birth, and when it popped out, <laughs> it was a girl. <laughs> and I just screamed out, what am I going to do now? It's a girl. <laughs> I think being caned by a witch of a teacher I had in primary school, which made me determine that when I became a teacher later on, I would never, teach, never treat children in that manner. Right, my most memorable day I think was when my parents came to know from the doctor that they would save my mum. And I came out of the womb saying no and I landed on my feet. I went to a show in Edinburgh and I experienced the most beautiful play of light and dance in a place where I have no idea where it was. And it was, I take away this beautiful, like a jewel that I always remember. But it happened somewhere where I don't even know where it was and that added to the magic. 